Hey guys, this is Santon again back with another video. Today I have with me the new Motorola Moto E second generation, the 4G version. As you can see, this is the 4G version that is currently retailing at around 7999, that is 8000 rupees in flipkart.com. And this device runs on Android Lollipop, that is Android 5.0.2 specifically. And it has a let me uh, read you the specifications for you. This is, uh, it says a Motorola Moto E second generation with a 4G LTE. It is 4G uh, compatible in, here in India. And these are small specifications listed. It says uh, with a comfortable curved design built to last Moto E everything except great smartphone to be. Sharp 4.5 inch, it has 4.5 inch QHD display that is the small Q. 960 by 540p it has Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection on the front as well as it has the nano coating for water resistant it has 1.2 gigahertz quad core snapdragon 410 processor the 3g version has a snapdragon 200 processor which have some limitation but this chipset is much much more powerful and much more efficient to battery as well it has a 2310 milliampere no, sorry it has 2390 milliampere battery and it has 5 megapixel uh, rear camera with VGA front facing camera. It has also some moto actions and moto display. I'll also um, review those in this video and I will come up with another uh, in-depth review as well. So let's start with the unboxing first. So here I have the knife, uh, my trusty old knife. Okay, I have cut the seal. Uh, so I have here the white model because I have reviewed the black model of Moto E first generation. So I have opted for the white model. This is the uh, white version of the Moto E second generation. The handset feels quite light in hand and the side band is removable. It's quite comfortable to hold and it's pretty slim I would say and pretty comfortable to hold in hand. So let me put this aside and have a look inside the box. So here we have a pair of headset. This is the same quality headset Motorola is giving us from the first generation Moto G. It's just useless and crap. I don't use them at all. This is the charging adapter. This the cable is pre-attached as Motorola likes to provide. It's uh, 550 milliampere, so it should not charge your phone very fast. Uh, we have bunch of booklets. There is nothing on the box, and we have bunch of booklets. Uh, Moto E, let's get started booklet as well as uh, Hindi booklet, Smart Protected and other uh, stuffs from Motorola as the guarantee stuffs. So let me put all those things aside and have a look in the display and the, and the device actually. So we cannot remove the back cover but uh, here I have some scratch marks, maybe some transit for. Uh, there is the back cover cannot be removable but the side band as you can see the side band can be removable hopefully my camera is focusing well as you can see there are some ridges on the side bands some ridges on the side and this is on the bottom there is a micro USB port on the right side there is a power button as well as the volume button and the ridges are all over and the volume uh, and the power button is also uh, textured for more grip this is the headphone port and all the textures are all around the body and the sideband actually on the back side there is a dimple on the middle of uh, the phone the Motorola dimple to put your index finger this is saying a secondary microphone for noise cancellation 5 megapixel autofocus camera front we have 4.5 inch uh, QH display the ear speaker as well as the front facing speaker this is the front facing camera VGA quality and the sensors. Let me peel off this. Let me first start the device, boot this device. And then I will just peel off this sticker from the front. So it's uh, quite hard actually. Um, so I will use my knife for this. So guys, I make it out. This is the front uh, cover of the phone and here the sound, the satisfaction sound. So it's not so satisfactory I would say. Uh, so let boot the device first. This is the Android Lollipop interface. As you can see, you are maybe familiar of this. Uh, let's select English India. 
I will connect to my Wi-Fi ladder. This is actually my first lollipop device. Uh, sign, I mean to say, first boot actually from lollipop. I have the Android one here, which also uh, this is the Android one which also run in lollipop. But uh, I got this lollipop not out of the box, but I have to download that separately. So let me first finish all the steps hopefully my camera is focusing well okay maybe later I will migrate from my old phone later on okay got this so let me first increase the brightness to full that you can guys can see the display better and as you can see this display eligibility is excellent here this is the lollipop there is not a lot of bloatware it's mostly stock Android and uh, let me go into settings and show you the Android versions. This is Android 5.0.2 as you can see. This is the lollipop easter egg. And from the first to my impression I can say that this is much more smoother than my Android one. Definitely much much smoother. So let me get rid of this one. Let me open the Google now. Okay it works. So let me fire up the camera. Okay I'll just fire up the camera by twisting the wrist. Let's see it can uh, be open or not okay it's very very sensitive let me try again again wow the camera is launching very very fast so let me take a snap and show it to you so the camera is very very fast let me show you on the camera actually uh, here as you can see wow very fast shutter speed I would say and it's also auto focused as you can see the photos have come out to be really really good I would say I was not expecting that much quality from the camera actually and these are all the shots this is the shot of the box as you can see the details have come out to be really really good and I'll test this camera thoroughly in my in-depth review as well let me see what are the settings available this is the HDR mode the touch to focus mode uh, the video mode as well as this is the panorama, timer, GPS location, uh, memory card, this is the widescreen or standard, as well as standard, the sound as well as the flick to wrist of or it says quick capture turn on. So you can zoom by sliding your finger up and down and it's quite a decent camera. You can see quite a decent camera. Let me so show the front facing camera as well and uh, hopefully you don't know but you can twist your wrist to open the camera and twist again to launch the front facing camera. As you can see this is me a recording, uh, let me take a picture of mine and as well the front facing camera is also not bad though it's VGA quality but it's not that bad I would say it's uh, bearable. So. Let me get it out of this one and hopefully there is the Moro display that we can pick up and the phone will be glow. Uh, let me turn on the Moro display first for you. Go to Moro app and next. Yes, I'm in. Mm, no, maybe later. Uh, Moro display and Moro display is I think on. So whenever your phone is resting on the table or in your pocket you can just take it and the display will light up maybe there is no Wi-Fi connection and I have not added my Google account so this is not working but I'll show you in my in-depth review thoroughly uh, let me also take this uh, band off and show you what are the ports inside so you can just take this band out the band is actually very flimsy so do take care of this band uh, you might be broke this band very easily but it's very costly actually the three bands costed around thousand rupees so the buttons are metallic uh, this is the inside as you can see hopefully my camera is good here this is the volume buttons power button this is the IMEI sticker they have uh, actually hide it from us you can take a, a four ship and uh, pull it out and this is the ports all the ports here 
This is the micro SD card expansion. These two SIM card slot and both the SIM card supports 4G. So let me uh, tuck this uh, band on the phone again. So it's a little bit a little bit weird actually. I haven't seen this kind of a uh, band uh, in any of uh, my smartphones. So should be a little bit careful but whenever the uh, band is on the phone it's very much stable so that's that's all in this unboxing and i'll uh, hope to see you in my next video and i'll c come up with uh, all the in-depth reviews as well as other camera reviews and stuff so uh, stay tuned to my channel subscribe to my channel for more videos like this if you have any queries in interest please do let me know in the comment section and in the future, I'll come up with the Mi 4i as well as the Asus Zenfone 2 review. Uh, so subscribe for th those videos as well. And I'll catch you up in my next video. Peace guys.